and welcome to my channel learn with upasma in this video i will cover the topics of class 7 and today's topics are what is world wide web protocols on the web and the components of the web first is world wide web world wide web is another way to describe the internet which is a network of computers which are connected and that share information and allow the communication around the world the world wide web shortly we can call it www or the web is the part of the internet that contains website and web pages websites are composed of pages linked by the hyperlink that are written in html in separate video i have made the html you can go to my channel channel and watch this html the software to see the world wide web is called a web browser one also need a connection to the internet now what are the protocols of web a protocol is a standard set of rules that allow electronic device to communicate with each other these are some example of internet protocol used in the internet these rules include what type of data may be transmitted and what command are used to send or receive the data and how the data transfer are confirmed now first protocol is hypertext transfer protocol shortly we call it http hypertext transfer protocol is the protocol which is used by web server and browser to communicate http is based on a request and a response when you type in the web page url in the browser and it enter then you hit the enter the browser make an http get request when you go to the google and you write anything on the google and then you enter your keyboard then you see a request are going to the server with the help of this http protocol it allows your web browser it can be a google chrome mozilla firefox apple safari or internet explorer to communicate with the server and server respond to you as the response next is file transfer protocol ftp this type of protocol is used provided the tcp ip used for transmitting the files from one host to another it is mainly used for transferring the web pages files from their creator to the computer that act as a server for other computer on the internet look at the picture it is a ftp client and ftp client are there and this is the server so they are exchanging the files between the client and the server from the both client these are the client and this is the one server next is a simple mail transfer protocol this smtp is a set of communication guidelines that allow the software to transmit an electronic mail email over the internet it is a program used for sending messages to the computer user based on the email addresses and smtp is a protocol which is created specially for transferring or receiving the emails on in the internet next is a tcp ip protocol transmission control protocol internet protocol tcp ip is divided made by the two protocols tcp and the ip first is tcp transmission control protocol this protocol is responsible for verifying the correct delivery of the data from source to destination here source is a client and destination you can say here source is one computer and destination is another computer suppose i want to send some data to my friend so i am a source and my friend is a destination data may be lost in the network tcp detect error or lost data and transmission until the complete data is received and now what is the work of ip ip is responsible for dividing the data into small packets at source machine 
source this is the source which i have told from where the data to be sent and the converting back to the normal data at the destination machine where data should be received so ip divide the data into the packets and send it to the destination machine and the tcp control if data will be lost then tcp control on the data it should be received in the destination site now come to one example of tcp idp look at the diagram in first step tcp what tcp was doing tcp breaks the data into packets okay in next step the packet travel from router to router means one computer to another computer over the internet according to the ip protocol according to the address of the packet next in the third step the tcp protocol reassemble the packet into the original form then it sent to the recipient this is the sender and this is the recipient this process is done between the sender and the recipient now the components of the web first is a web client web client can be a laptop a personal computer in your home or at your home office your web browser is an example of web client next is the web server a web server is a software and hardware that uses http protocol and then other protocol to respond to client request and made over the web the main job of the web server is to display con website content through the storing processing and delivering the web pages to the user you have seen in the google when you search for something there is a all the information coming in the form of web pages okay then http is responsible for showing you the all the information in the form of web pages there now next is the web browser a web browser or simply can call it browser is an application used to access and view the websites commonly web browser are microsoft internet explorer google chrome mozilla firefox and apple safari next component of web is isp internet service provider it is a company that provide the internet access to the companies to the families to even mobile users isp use fiber optics satellites or copper wire and other form to provide the internet access to its customer like with the help of this fiber optics copper wire it is a wired wired internet and for wireless they use the satellite here for watching please like or subscribe my channel